Jesus is in charge of his own destiny. He is in charge of his life, and he will be the one who decides when he will lay that life down for our sake and our salvation. This is a very important point. The death of Jesus is not some tragedy that he had no control over. It's not as though, thanks to the plots of men alone, Jesus Christ was outsmarted and overwhelmed by people who are much more sly and vicious. That's actually not the case. The reality here is that Jesus Christ knew when he would offer his life for you and for me. No one would take his life from him, he tells us, but he will lay it down of his own accord when he himself is ready. We get a foretaste of this in today's gospel. As Jesus is walking through a Samaritan village, they don't want him to stay with them because his face is directed toward Jerusalem. He's steadfastly directed toward Jerusalem. Why there? That is where he will encounter his death. That was the purpose of Jesus coming. He came to offer his life for you and for me on the cross, and in so doing, to liberate us from sin and death. He didn't come to be solely a great teacher. He didn't come solely to cure the sick and, and help those who had demons in them. He came to completely transform and redeem us through his death on a cross. That is so powerful because Jesus never had to do that. It is the condescension of God. God in his mercy looks upon us in our plight of sin and he alone gives us the remedy, Jesus Christ. He, the innocent, would offer his life for us. He would stand in our place. And when he offered his life, he would die for all of our sins, an acceptable sacrifice to the Father. He always carried out the Father's will. And it's the Father's plan that all of us as sons and daughters come to him in heaven one day. And Jesus is the gateway for that to happen. By his self-offering, he opens up the gates of heaven that were closed through the disobedience of Adam and Eve. So through his incredible act of obedience, he undoes their evil. This tells us something very important. We are loved by God. Imagine, God loves you and I so much that he didn't even hold back his own son, but offered him so that he would die for our salvation. Is there a heart so hard that it's not touched by love like that? No one has greater love than this, to lay down their life for a friend. When we look at the cross, we see there the great dignity of each and every human being, for Christ came to save all men. When we look at the cross, we realize, wow, God, you love me this much, this much. Your son offers himself there for me. What a beautiful image. I was reading in Living with Christ, um, those little quotes that are sometimes at the, at the end of each day's readings. And there was a really beautiful quote, and I'm trying to remember it now, but it was from um, St. Anthony of Padua. And he said, um, I think he said, nowhere will one look at a more accurate reflection of oneself than by looking at the mirror of the cross. For there we see just how loved we are. What a beautiful image by St. Anthony. The cross shows us how much we are worth in God's eyes. And if I'm valuable in God's eyes, I fear nothing on earth. That's all that matters to me. May God bless you.